You are welcome to the Sure Word blog post. Our topic for this series is Focus on what matters From The Sure Word for Today blog post Authored by Jefferson Owen B. This is part of our Effective Time Management series. Follow the links below if you prefer to read the blog post. Full title of today's post is Saving Time by Focusing on What Matters. Life is short, you need to focus on what really matters most. You must change your priorities over time. There are two parts to the subject of the post, focus and what matters. The result is you will save time. Why is it important for you to save time? If you are successful in managing your time properly, you will meet your deadlines easily and this is progress and success. These accomplishments will make you feel a sense of confidence in your abilities. The confidence will build you and make you grow stronger with time. You will begin to create a habit of finishing your task and the consistency in finishing your daily to-do list is a huge inspiration that can drive you to further improve your time management skills. Once you have improved your time management skills, you are capable to take on new challenges and new work opportunities. Self-improvement takes time. Just as a car needs petrol to function, you need constant development to master your game. Life is a game, and we are all players, participants, in the reserve bench, spectators, and empire. You do not have to wait for tomorrow before you start improving and enhancing your skills. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is now, this moment, and not tomorrow. You need to act now. If you wait for a perfect condition, you will never get anything done. Time waits for no one. Time is not going to wait for you to be ready. You must be ready now. It is not comfortable, but you must be ready. You have no choice not to. Self-worth is a term used to define a person's overall emotional evaluation of their specific worth. It is a conviction of oneself as well as an attitude toward the self. Self-worth encompasses beliefs such as I am competent, I am worthy and emotions like triumph, despair, pride, and shame. People with healthy self-worth like themselves and value their achievements. While everyone lacks confidence on occasion, people with low self-worth feel unhappy or unsatisfied with themselves most of the time. Your time is your money. How much time do you invest in yourself to make yourself worthy? Note that your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Sometimes, you must forget what you feel and remember what you deserve. You accepted less because you thought a little was better than nothing. Know your worth. When you know your worth, you will be focused only on what matters to you. You need to continue to learn how to manage your time effectively and once you understand how to manage your time efficiently, it opens the room for you to be more focused on your endeavors which allows you to make great accomplishments with less time available. You will learn how to leverage time. You will know how to squeeze time and make every time at your disposal work can be productive. The problem is not that you don't have enough time. You do only you are not disciplined enough to learn how to manage your time. Your time is money because your work takes time. If time equals money, then if you own money, you own other people's time. Right? If you have heard me before, I said we all have equal 24 hours in a day, but some people in that 24 hours have more because they bought other people's time. Yes. You can buy time. You cannot spend more than 24 hours a day, but you can still leverage and spread the time. It is possible to spend 96 hours in 24 hours. How? By buying other people's time. Everyone has time but spend it differently. Working harder does not determine how much you will earn. Smart working has the tendency to decide on your earning ability. To break this down, you might work in an industry where it is hard labor, and you take home £9 per hour or in an industry where they pay you £60 per hour for your ideas. What is the worth of an hour of your time in the market? What is the total number of times you invest to earn money? 
You need to start tracking your time because your time is money. The time you waste is money wasted. How much money are you wasting in a day? It's essential, you know. Okay, I said you need to save time and focus on what really matters. What about if you don't know what really matters? What to do when you don't really know what matters in life? Most often you will assume that money, status, and wealth are important in life, but the reality is much different. How come I mentioned money and wealth? Because they are not the same thing. Wealth is the collection of resources we can use. You can have wealth without having money. Money is a way of moving wealth, and in practice, they are usually interchangeable. Money intermediates transactions. Money is simply the currency needed to exchange for goods or services, while wealth is the abundance of money or material possessions. Money measures wealth, it is not wealth itself. It is a claim on products and services that people have created. That's why counterfeiting is illegal, it's thievery. But when the government does this, it's called quantitative easing, or stimulus. To know what matters, you need to be super clear about your priorities. If you are not clear about your priorities, anything you do is a waste of time. It is because they are not contributing to your goals and aspirations. When you are super clear on your priorities, it helps you spend your time on valuable activities instead of whatever tasks seem the most urgent at the moment. Also, you will rather tackle your most important project than be everywhere at the same time. To save time you must have a structure put in place like you have a particular place you keep your car keys, so you don't have to look for it anytime you want to use the car. All I am saying is you get organized. The organization enables you to deal with things effectively. When you're organized, you save time. Being organized is vital, it reduces stress as well. You cannot deny that when you have clusters and are disorganized, it causes an untold amount of stress in your life. As you push your way through the clutter, there's the stress of overwhelm. You get frustrated as you hunt for lost items. That time can also cause you to be late and unprepared for work, school, and social events. Once you begin to clear clutter and put organizing systems in place, you'll feel lighter and more in control of your life. That peace of mind you've been craving can finally be realized. Even the number of keys on your key ring can cause an untold amount of stress. You need to declutter your key holder. Quotes from Benjamin Franklin. A place for everything, everything in his place. For every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. We have reached the end. Thank you for listening. If this has inspired you, please help us share with others so they too can be inspired. The Sure Word blog is a product of the Sure Word for Today, from the Sure Foundation Transcend Ministries, United Kingdom. Once again, thank you and have a gorgeous day. God bless you.